August 3rd, 1956, at the 25th Street Gansvoort Incinerator in New York City, Dr. Wilhelm Reich's friends and colleagues stand speechless as over six tons of the scientists' books, journals, and papers are set to fire before their very eyes. Today, this event is frequently cited as one of the worst instances of censorship in U.S. history. Yet at the time, the monstrous act of government suppression didn't even make the papers. So what were in these documents? Were they the lunatic ramblings of a scientist gone mad? Or did they hold the secret designs of a device so revolutionary it could forever solve the holy grail of science, creating 100% free energy, running in perpetuity, and freeing the masses from one of the most powerful conglomerates in the world. When Dr. Reich died mysteriously in prison, one year after the burning, a decade after the Food and Drug Administration, you didn't read that wrong, the FDA launched a witch hunt to destroy his energy generation devices, and just three days before he was scheduled for a parole hearing, which may very well have set him free, it appeared as though this question would never be answered. And for over five decades, it wasn't. But now, for the first time, new evidence has surfaced about Dr. Wilhelm Reich's most secret project, proving once and for all that generating free energy, enough to power a home, and simple enough to be made on your kitchen table, is as easy as a trip to your local hardware store. And in this brief presentation, that will without a doubt be censored as soon as the government gets wind of it, you will see in explicit details how you can use Dr. Wilhelm Reich's banned invention to make enough free energy to last you a lifetime, taking you off the grid, making you energy independent, and freeing you from the clutches of big electricity. People are already starting to share their amazing stories with us. Kendra Halliday from San Clemente, California says, The month before I built my Orgone electric motor, my energy bill was $184.54. That was in February. The very next month, in March, my bill was $47.19. Simply incredible. And Peter Laughlin of Omaha, Nebraska says, The generator has been spinning on its own for eight hours now. I'm speechless. Every spin is another penny saved on my electric bill. Thank you so much. Before we give you all the details and show you exactly how you can go about building one of these devices yourself, we need to set the record straight on Dr. Wilhelm Reich once and for all and explain exactly how he was able to build a device so reviled by the U.S. government and big business alike that they may have killed to keep it from reaching the masses. We know that by sharing these secrets, we're putting ourselves in just as much danger as Dr. Reich did. But after half a century in darkness, the time has come to illuminate the world. The first thing to know is that Wilhelm Reich, 1897 to 1957, always did things a little bit different. And perhaps that's because he grew up in a place in time where the laws of science were being rewritten on an almost daily basis. In 1903, when Wilhelm Reich was six years old, the Wright brothers became the first humans ever to fly, accomplishing in just a few minutes what others had called impossible for more than 2,000 years. In 1905, Einstein's theory of special relativity shocked the world by showing that atomic energy could be easily created by humans. In 1907, Nernst's third law of thermodynamics suddenly changed our understanding of particles in motion. In 1911, Ahn's discovered superconductivity, making it possible to rapidly transfer energy with little to no resistance. And in 1913, Bohr came out with his first model of the atom. So Wilhelm Reich lived in an age where the impossible was constantly being shown to be possible. And this was especially true when it came to the laws of energy. Now, you should also understand that Dr. Reich was a man of extraordinary intellect. When he was still an undergraduate in college, he was hired by the famous psychoanalyst and neurologist Dr. Sigmund Freud to start treating patients. When he was just 25 years old, he was put in charge of one of the most prestigious medical clinics in all of Europe. In his 30s, he started studying how plants could be used to generate power. And in his 40s, Reich did experiments with Albert Einstein, shocking the world's most famous scientist with a revolutionary device that could generate 100% free energy, run for thousands of hours, and harness the incredible natural forces already present on Earth in order to power homes and cities for the rest of human history. Reich called his device an orgone energy motor and experimented tirelessly in his laboratory, tweaking tinkering and perfecting the machine. This motor was based off one revolutionary observation, that there's an energy force running through the Earth 
and all living things. And while at first, this may sound like something out of a New Age textbook, what he was really observing was the behavior of electromagnetic fields. But because he always approached science a little bit differently, he was able to accidentally discover a strange exception to the laws of electromagnetism, allowing for massive amounts of magnetic energy to be created without the need for a massive power source. Using materials that are so basic, you could drive into town right now and pick them up for less than $100 and build your own powerful machine in less than 24 hours, even if you're unsure how to use a hammer and a nail. Here's a basic outline of the motor. Essentially, it works by using magnetic forces to create a permanent state of imbalance between a rotor and a stator, continuously concentrating a flow of energy in the same direction as the motor rotates, allowing for sustained, almost, perpetual motion. We put almost in parentheses because the laws of thermodynamics say that true perpetual motion is impossible. In fact, that's why you always hear critics of free energy saying it won't work. It violates the laws of physics. But these critics make a huge mistake because they assume that if emotion can't be perpetual, then it must be short-lasting. To see why they're wrong, simply look at the planets. They're in almost perpetual motion, orbiting the sun, which is highly magnetic, for billions and billions of years. One day they'll stop, but we'll be long gone when that happens. So even if emotion created is not perpetual, it can still be self-generated without an energy source for near eternity. You see, it's all about thinking differently. And by doing this, Reich realized that even if energy generation doesn't last forever, it could still be made to last for a couple thousand years. Dr. Reich first shared his device with Einstein in 1940 and worked tirelessly to improve both its efficiency and output over the next several years. In 1947, he presented his device to a select group of colleagues who were astounded to watch as he powered an electrical motor as if by magic. Now... By this point, Dr. Reich was already a very famous scientist, constantly referenced in the day's leading academic journals and prominently listed as one of America's top men of science. But when his orgone energy motor was finally revealed to a select group of leading scholars, providing an incredibly simple way for every person in America and the world to create their own free energy for the rest of their lives with virtually zero maintenance and freeing them from the tyrannical clutches of the world's largest monopolies, it appeared as though Dr. Wilhelm Reich was about to take his place as one of the most prominent inventors in history. Unfortunately, the sinister titans of the energy monopolies had different ideas, and a few years later, Dr. Wilhelm Reich turned up dead the product of a systematic and targeted persecution planned by the world's most powerful elite and carried out by the very government that was supposed to protect him. It was an act of suppression reeking of arrogance. They publicly burned the evidence in the streets of New York, as if to warn us that this is what happens when we try to change the status quo, that this is what happens when you try to threaten our bottom line. Because while we all know that building our own perpetual energy generator could save us tens of thousands of dollars over the course of our lives and drastically reduce damage to the environment while ridding the air of many pollutants that may well be causing the increase in cancer we're experiencing. There's little profit in it for the corporations, and losing money, it's not something they're going to readily accept. Not when companies like General Electric bring in $147 billion in revenue each year, or ExxonMobil, who has $453 billion in annual revenue. So you can understand why they may have some small interest in keeping all that blasphemous talk about free energy under wraps. With greed in their eyes, the masters of industry set out on a tactical assault so sophisticated it would make even a five-star general's mouth drop in awe. Here's the play-by-play breakdown of how they destroyed Dr. Wilhelm Reich. Step 1. Begin Smear Campaign Reich had long enjoyed a solid reputation as a leading American scientist. Then suddenly, in 1947, the same year he shares his energy generator, a series of articles appear in Harper's and the New Republic attacking his credibility. They are written by an obscure and virtually unpublished journalist named Mildred Edie Brady. At the end of the articles, she says that Reich must be dealt with. It's unclear how someone with almost no writing credentials could suddenly get identical articles published in two of the nation's largest magazines. Step 2. Raise the false flag. Shortly after Brady's articles are published, a director of the Federal Trade Commission writes to the FDA requesting they investigate Reich. They cite as the reason for the investigation that Reich's energy experiments could affect consumer health and assign agents to start monitoring Reich's activities at all times. 
which begs two questions. One, why would a commission on trade start investigating a man focused on free energy? Two, did the FTC use the FDA to keep the public from tracing the investigation back to powerful economic interests? Step three, surveillance and sabotage. In 1948, a recently hired assistant of Dr. Wilhelm Reich suddenly disappears, taking the Orgone Energy Monitor prototype and a large portion of Reich's research funds with him. Reich is frantic. He investigates and discovers that none of the assistant's claims about his past, including his employment, are verifiable. The man is never heard from again. Step 4. Begin Censorship The FDA persuades the U.S. District Attorney of Maine to put an injunction on Reich, stopping him from continuing his work and research. Reich continues working despite the potential legal threats, but in 1954, the courts demand that all of his energy generators, their individual parts, their instruction manuals, and all books mentioning Orgone be confiscated. Step 5. Neutralization On May 7, 1956, Reich is found guilty of trying to send a piece of his energy generator out of state. It's unclear why this is a crime exactly, but it is obvious that suppression efforts are heightening to a near stifling level. He's immediately sentenced to two years in prison. While he doesn't know it yet, this might as well be a death sentence. Step six, destroy evidence and memories. On June 5, 1956, two FDA officials travel to Dr. Reich's research facility and supervise the destruction of all energy machines. As a man's entire life's work lay in ruins, his son Peter walks over and quietly places an American flag on the shattered generators. Two months later, the burning in New York happens. All of Reich's works, everything, journals, diaries, notebooks, literature, etc., are incinerated before the public's eyes. Step 7. Tie up the loose ends. November 3, 1957. Just seven days before a parole hearing in which it is widely speculated Reich will be released, William Reich is found dead in his prison cell. He is fully clothed except for his shoes. The prison doctor says it was sudden heart failure. There is no autopsy given. Time magazine runs an obituary on Dr. Reich, but the rest of the press stays silent, probably out of fear. And this would be the terrifying, tragic end to the story, with the dream of true, free, self-generated energy being lost forever, with us enslaved to the corporations for all time, continuing to be the small, tiny ants they crush at will, while literally filling their vaults with our money bitterly paying our electricity bills each month as we're told that demand is up, so the price has gone up too, and watching helplessly as the air around us fills with smoke and cancer rates increase by 75% in the next two decades, as the Center for Disease Research has estimated they will. It should have been the end, but it's not. Two years ago in Topeka, Kansas, the first and perhaps only surviving blueprints for the Orgon energy motor were discovered in an attic of a man who, on his deathbed, claimed that he was Wilhelm Reich's mystery assistant, the one who had disappeared in the winter of 48. And after a protracted negotiation with this man's estate and a payment to the family that was too much to disclose, although we will say it was more than six figures, we were able to finally get our hands on Reich's blueprints and build the legendary motor that the ruling elite thought they had forever destroyed. Now, as soon as the corporations get wind of this presentation, we will undoubtedly have our site taken down. Persecution is a risk we're willing to take, but you do need to pay close attention to this next part because we only have a very short amount of time to tell you what we know. First, it works beautifully. The computer we're using to write this presentation is being powered by the motor this very moment. So is our office and the homes of our staff. Second, it's easy to put together, shockingly so. All it takes are a few copper wires, a few pieces of wood, and a few other pieces that can be found at your local hardware store. Even if you struggle to screw in a light bulb, you'll be able to make the device. Third, it's cheap. You could be generating your own energy almost perpetually for less than $100. Fourth, it's scalable. Once you have the blueprints, you can quickly and easily create larger and more powerful ones. You can power your house and get off the grid 100%. You can have the energy company start paying you, sending a check in the mail each month. Is it any wonder people are going nuts about this device? Scott Rebert from Redondo Beach, California says, Building this device is such a breeze. I'm 64 years old and built it in under an hour with my grandkids. It now keeps on feeding free watts into the grid. And Aaron Clay, a retired engineer in Henderson, Nevada, tells us, As a former engineer, I'll admit I was skeptical. But the moment I looked over the blueprints, I knew this was the real deal. 
I can't believe such an obvious energy solution has been sitting right in front of me the whole time. As soon as you discover just how easy it is to build your own Orgone energy motor, you'll kick yourself for not thinking of it before too. But while the simple components needed to assemble your free energy device have been sitting all around you, on the shelves of the stores you drive by every day, it took the mind of a truly different thinker to understand how to put them together. And once we've given you the blueprints to build your very own motor, you'll start enjoying instant savings of 50%, 70% or more off your electric bill. And without the insane $15,000 plus investment of a sunlight dependent solar panel, you could save more than 100% off your electric bill, having the energy cartels actually pay you for the energy you generate. The device is so scalable, it's not hard to do. You will be able to power your household appliances, even refrigerators and air conditioning units, for free. And if you ever go off the grid, you'll be able to still have all the power you want, without worrying about spending $40,000 or more just to get hooked up. The Orgone Energy Motor is also ideal as a portable generator. If there's an emergency, like a natural disaster or rolling blackouts, you may end up being the only lighted house in the neighborhood. And you can set up this device in your basement, your living room, your attic, or your backyard. You don't have to worry about rain, wind, or cloudy days. Plus, since the motor utilizes superconductive principles, it is almost frictionless, meaning there's hardly any noise at all. You may even find yourself forgetting you have it until you get your check from the energy company each month. And finally, it's pretty much maintenance-free. You simply need to check on it every few months and make sure it's running smoothly. If it's not, the fix is normally as simple as adjusting a magnet, which doesn't cost a dime. In the short time we've made the Orgone Energy Motor public, we've heard from hundreds of people who have had their energy bills cut in half or more. This brings them thousands in savings. Now it's your turn to get the blueprints. We've taken Reich's device and created step-by-step -step instructions for you. Here's what you get. How to make your own Orgone energy motor in as little as 90 minutes with nothing but materials that can be found in your local electronics store for less than $50. An entire breakdown of the parts and materials needed to make the Orgone energy motor. There's actually only a few things on the list, and the total cost of these parts is less than $100. Complete step-by-step -step instructions for how to build your own generator. You'll get color photos, actual blueprints, and a follow-along video guide. Using this knowledge, you can get off the grid forever and even turn the electric companies into your customers. All of the disturbing secrets the electric company doesn't want you to know, including a detailed strategy for eliminating hidden costs from your current bill, delivering almost instant savings. Take a moment to consider what life would be like if you were no longer paying $100 or more for your energy bills each month. If you're one of the unlucky ones with a large house to power, you may be spending over $350 on your bill each month. This means you'd be saving $4,200 a year. So whether you're saving $50, $100, or even $300 per month, think about what you'd do with all that extra money. That's a tank of free gas, or the money to go on a deserved vacation, or cash to use in investments like gold. With the tremendous savings you'll realize with the Orgone Energy Motor, you can understand why we'd be justified to charge you thousands of dollars for the blueprints. But if we did that, we'd be no better than the energy cartels who stopped at nothing to make sure this civilization-changing device was destroyed, and we would only be a group that perpetuates the problem, not part of the solution. As a matter of fact, the only reason we are even charging a fee at all is to recoup the seven-figure sum we had to pay in order to purchase the blueprints and to pay our cybersecurity team. So here's what you are getting. We're going to give you instant access to the motor blueprints, the step-by-step -step manual, and a total list of all supplies needed for only $49. You'll also get a few bonuses that are too disruptive to mention in this presentation. We're willing to guess that this is less than what you're currently paying on your electric bill each month and your savings can pay for the investment in the first 30 days. The only thing easier than getting your blueprints right now is actually building the device. Click the orange Add to Cart button below, and you'll be taken to our order page. Our cybersecurity team has gone through excessive lengths to make sure the order is secure and confidential. Not only that, but you're also protected by our no-questions-asked 60-day 
money back guarantee. It works like this. You get the Orgone Energy Motor Blueprints and instructions today and spend just a couple of hours and about $100 putting it together. Then, you watch with glee as your power meter instantly starts dropping after you've plugged the device in. You see your energy bill cut in half or a lot more in the first two months. You get a full 60 days to determine if the energy motor works as promised and is a good investment. If you decide your savings are not high enough, just write us a short email using the address we'll make available in the members area. We'll give you your entire refund, even if it's been 59 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes. There's no risk to get your Orgone Energy Motor Blueprints, so go ahead and click the orange Add to Cart button now. You'll also get a few bonuses that are too disruptive to mention in this presentation, but you better act quickly because this presentation will be censored at any moment. We're already getting attacks on our website, and our cyber team has been able to trace them back to Washington, D.C. and Fairfield, Connecticut, coincidentally, where GE's corporate headquarters is. And we're just waiting for our first injunction from a court system that is entirely in the pockets of the corporations. We have a lawyer, but they have hundreds of lawyers. Our lawyer went to a small Midwestern law school. Theirs went to Harvard and Yale. We hate to say it. But we can't go fist to fist with the conglomerates, which means once their legal attack occurs, we will have little choice but to close down shop. Don't be left in the dark. The choice you have should be pretty apparent. For less than one month's electric bill, you can start saving 50 to 80% off your bill or more. And you'll be standing up for freedom, not in a vague sense of the word, but for the rights this country was founded on. The freedom to get the truth to not be censored, and to not be treated like some peasant by the kings of industry. You can take your energy bill to negative, receiving checks from those very same conglomerates. They won't like it, but they have to pay. Month after month, you will experience the relaxation of one less staggering bill to worry about, of no longer feeling like you're a hostage to the elite. This is your moment to take a stand, to realize a world of energy freedom, not just for yourself, but also for all the underdogs, for those who have been held down for far too long. People like Dr. Reich, who had the courage to realize that there was a different, better way than the status quo. It all starts with one simple click of the mouse. So go on, click that orange Add to Cart button below, start saving money, and become the change you want to see.